2021 was a busy year in space for public and private space companies. So far there have been over 130 space flights in 2021. To take a closer look at notable missions during 2021, we took into consideration some of the most significant missions of the year, encompassing landmark human, scientific and technological accomplishments. Before we go through the best space missions of 2021, we have to mention achievements like private astronauts who visited the International Space Station and also the Russian film crew and Japanese billionaire who recently returned from space. NASA had two very important missions, sending the Lucy spacecraft to explore a set of asteroids near Jupiter, also known as the Trojans, and a DART mission which will attempt to redirect two asteroids in space. Private companies also had a very successful year. SpaceX's crewed missions to the ISS became a normal thing. During 2021, Elon Musk's company sent two missions to the space station, Crew 2 and Crew 3. A total of eight astronauts flew on board the SpaceX Crew Dragon this year alone. Now let's dig deeper into 2021's best space missions. The first quarter of the year was marked by missions to Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover landed on the Martian service on February the 18th. The rover will search for past life on Mars and collect samples for future return to Earth by a later mission. The Chinese Mars mission was also successful with the Zurong rover landing on May the 14th. Before Zurong, only NASA had successfully landed and operated a spacecraft on Mars. The third mission was the United Arab Emirates orbiter that arrived in February to study Mars's climate. HOPE is the Arab world's first mission to another planet. SpaceX is currently the locomotive of space exploration. Their goal is to reach the Moon, Mars and beyond, which would be impossible without their next generation rocket, the SpaceX Starship. Starship is currently being developed and tested in Starbase, the private rocket production facility, test site and spaceport, constructed by SpaceX located at Boca Chica in Texas. In 2021, SpaceX conducted several high altitude test flights. On Wednesday, May the 5th, Starship serial number 15, or SM15, successfully completed SpaceX's fifth high altitude flight test of a Starship prototype from Starbase. This was a major milestone for American aerospace company to fulfill the ultimate purposes of a Mars exploration. Another milestone is coming soon. SpaceX's Starship SN20 prototype could make its first orbital flight test as soon as next month. Sir Richard Branson was the first of the space company founders to fly in his own spacecraft. On July the 11th, 2021, Virgin Galactic successfully launched him and five other crew members into suborbital space. The aircraft White Knight 2 lifted and then released the rocket-powered crew space plane VSS Unity, sending the craft soaring up to 53 miles or 86 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The crew experienced about four minutes of weightlessness and saw the curvature of the Earth. The Blue Origin Company had three human suborbital missions in 2021. Suborbital flights mean it took the passengers to the edge of space, or an altitude of 100 kilometers or 62 miles above the Earth. The new Shepard series of space flights lasted about 11 minutes in total. The capsule reached an altitude of 107 kilometers or 66 miles. The crew then floated in microgravity for a few minutes and landed under a set of four parachutes. The first human carrying launch took place on July the 20th, 2021. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and Blue Origin, with his brother and the oldest and youngest people to have ever flown in space, launched from the West Texas launch site. While Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin achieved suborbital flights, the real step into commercial orbital flights was made by SpaceX. Inspiration4 became the first crewed orbital mission with non-professional astronauts on board. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft launched on September the 15th, 2021 from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The crew spent three days in orbit during Jared Isaacman's privately chartered spaceflight. The primary aim of the mission was to raise funds for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The James Webb Space Telescope launched on December the 18th, 2021. 
James Webb is a space telescope of the newest generation. It was developed by NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency jointly. The plan is to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope as NASA's flagship astrophysics mission. Webb travelled for about a month to reach its orbit, which is 1.5 million kilometres or 940,000 miles from Earth. James Webb's revolutionary technology will study every phase of cosmic history, from within our solar system to the most distant observable galaxies in the early universe. Webb's infrared telescope will explore a wide range of scientific questions to help us understand the origins of the universe and also our place in it. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has entered the solar atmosphere of the Sun for the very first time in history. Three years after launch, Parker has finally arrived on April the 28th, 2021. It launched to explore the mysteries of the Sun by travelling in its upper atmosphere, the corona. The Parker Solar Probe will help scientists uncover important information about the Sun and stars in general. It is a monumental moment for solar science. OSIRIS-REx is a NASA asteroid study and sample return mission which travelled to the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. It collected a sample of asteroid Bennu on October the 20th, 2021, and this will be brought back to Earth after OSIRIS re-enters Earth's atmosphere on September the 24th, 2023. Bennu was chosen as the target of this study because it is a time capsule from the birth of the solar system. It is also a potentially hazardous object with a cumulative 1 in 2700 chance of impacting Earth between 2175 and 2199. It has been a very interesting year for space travel in general and we are eagerly awaiting new exciting missions in 2022 and beyond.